Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Aries. This is going to be an energy check-in, so on the person most on your mind or your current situation. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Aries. Messages please for my dearest Aries out there regarding love and romance. The lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you guys, this is a twin flame journey. It could also be just a deep soulmate connection. It is possibility that somebody here has a choice. This can indicate, you know, third party energy, but I don't feel that right now. Your person, Aries, you are their wish fulfillment. This person is hoping and praying that things either get off the ground, you come back, that you heal things. They see you as someone they've manifested. They're viewing you as the chariot, Cancerian energy. Look at all these major uh, arcana cards, you guys. Somebody could be a Gemini Cancer cusp. We also have Aquarius energy coming through. Um, they, you, they might see you not really taking action towards them right now, Aries. So again, they might be just like hoping and praying that you're going to reach out, that you're going to ask them out, that you guys are going to get together. They might see you stuck for some reason, stuck in another connection, stuck at a distance. Um, but they just don't see you moving forward. This person also, if it's a past person, they are stuck on you. But even if even if it's somebody new, it could be a, like a secret admirer. And they're stuck on you, Aries. Ten of Wands. This is what you don't see coming. A passionate new beginning. This person's going to release some burdens. They may be ending something to come towards you. Or they may just have been having these like really strong feelings for you for a long time. Um, and they just can't hold them hold back anymore. That's what I'm getting. And the final outcome energy, the two of wands, making a decision. So I do see that, you know, for some of you, this is a twin flame connection. Because I'm seeing the ace of wands showing up twice here. A lot of passion. I feel that when you guys get together, it's going to be like a volcanic explosion. Like it's going to be really intense. If that's what you decide, you may decide that you don't want to be with this person. All right. The five of cups. Somebody here wants to heal things. Somebody here has been really sad. Maybe they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you, Aries. Uh, it could be somebody you were in a commitment with. It could be just somebody that you work with, you go to school with, you see at the gym, whatever it is. Somebody that maybe you, I don't know, see when you're traveling. I know that's a bit of a weird message that just came through. But this is absolutely a strong soulmate connection. Um, you may see this person as emotionally guarded, though. You may not know that they have these deep feelings for you, Aries. All right. And if it's a past person, you're going to weigh up your options, okay, about whether or not you want to get back together with them. So Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius energy coming through very, very strong. I do see that this is a true love situation, though, because there's these two of cups here, okay? Soulmate energy. So the Page of Wands, this person's taking action towards you, Aries. They want a fresh start after a difficult ending. So either there's something that they're burdened by. Maybe they didn't tell you how they felt. Maybe, you know, again, if you used to work with this person or you know them from school, like they never told you how they felt or they never asked you out. And this is something that's been really weighing heavy on them. If you've broken up or been in separation from this person, it's very heavy. They, they're ready to let go of these burdens, though. They're going to come in and tell you something. This person definitely overthinks the situation. They may be worried, jealous, and triggered that you have somebody else or that you're going to reject them. But this person's coming in to fight for you. What's taking so long is they're, and this, t this is Gemini energy, but they're in their head a lot. So they probably have strong air placements, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could be their sun, moon, rising, their Venus sign. But yeah, this person, I feel like, they're a little bit worried. Either they're looking back at the past, the way they left things, or some of you, like I said, this person never told you how they felt. Six of Swords, the Chariot, they're stuck on you. They want to come back. They're seeing you differently. They've had some sort of download. Maybe you're seeing them differently. Maybe they're worried that you're not going to see them as anything more than a friend. For some of you, it was like one of your friend's younger siblings or something. Maybe it was someone you dated or you went to school with way, way back. And they're just like, they're worried that you're not going to see them differently or see them the way they see you. This person is so stuck on you, Aries. It's crazy. It could be a Pisces. Wow, it could be a Cancer Pisces. They did they have strong water. 
this person, they're really in their head, but they are going to take a risk with that page of wands. They're like, they know they've got to release these burdens. They might be coming to sort of a boiling point. So what you don't see coming, Ace of Cups in reverse, this person, yeah, this is what I'm seeing with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. They never told you how they felt. They held back and they feel like they missed an opportunity and they want to fix that. They want to rectify it. They want to heal things. Maybe they let you walk away, Aries, in the past, or maybe they just never told you like how they felt about you and they, and they didn't fight for the connection or they didn't see, they were too like scared or they weren't confident enough in the past to tell you that they wanted to be more than friends or to ask you out. This person's really drained by this, though. I think they're drained by keeping things to themselves, keeping things in. They feel like they've made a bad choice in the past regarding you or this connection. They've never let go of you, though, Aries, okay? Or they've never, because like, it feels like a lot of you, this person could be an ex or it could be somebody that, like, you worked with before. There's a decision coming up. Okay, and the strength card to be strong and the chariot card. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Cancer Leo cusp. The Knight of Swords. This person is taking action towards you. They're coming in with some sort of communication to tell you what they didn't have the strength to tell you in the past. Whether that was yesterday, whether it was last week, whether it was 10 years ago. If you worked with this person, if you dated them, if you were married to them, if you were just friends, if they were friends with your brother or your sister. Okay, um, something's falling off the shelves over there. <laughs> um, it's going to come as a big surprise. It's going to come in as a shock and surprise. They're coming in quickly. It is something that Spirit's telling you. This does feel like divine intervention. Some of you, you may have run into this person too, sort of randomly. You know, like let's say you used to work with them and you run into them while you're out doing shopping or something like that. So we have this Leo energy. This person is very attracted to you. They could be a Leo, they could be a Pisces, they could be a Cancer. We get Cancer energy coming out strong. Um, don't, it's like hold back. At, what I'm seeing is like don't rush forward. Make sure you see all the details. The hanged one, make sure you look at all the details. Make sure you know what their true intentions are here, Aries. Um, I feel like... I feel like distance could be a problem and I don't know if they live abroad or it's just been the amount of time that has passed since you've seen this person. Some of you guys, they may have even changed. Like you see her sort of, she's kind of like rough around the edges and equally as gorgeous, but you know, she's like a little rough around the edges, maybe a little bit rebellious. It's like you see this person and they've turned into this like emperor, empress energy. All right, you're also divinely guided and protected. So they might be a little bit worried that you're not going to see them, the new version of them or how they've transformed or see them the way they see you. That's what I'm getting there. Um, you're being told to be strong. And if you're waiting for communication from this person, it is coming in, Aries. This person's been holding back and it's like, it's been like really hard for them is what I'm getting. With that 10 of wands in reverse, they're like, they're starting to feel exhausted by not, telling you how they feel or there's something that they wish they had said or done so they do have regrets but like like I said for a lot of you it's not somebody you dated in the past it's somebody that just never told you how they felt so this person is probably also seeking getting readings um, about you um, I feel like this person is also like this this may be somebody who's been like trying to find you or find out more information about you okay Maybe they don't know that much about you and they want, they like want to get to know you more. Love wins. Okay. And love is in the air. So, you know, Aries, I feel that this feels really good. I just feel this person, they're a little bit nervous because they're very, they're very cerebral. They're in the mental body a lot. There's potential here. They're trying to figure out all they can before they sort of take this leap of faith. But I think you may already know with this evidence card, I think you probably already know that either this person likes you or that this person always liked you, but they never said anything. You might've even wondered too, like why they never stepped up. And if it's an ex, I think you know that this person loves you, okay? So double confirmation of the chariot card in reverse, stuck on you, Aries. <laughs> All right, let's see. We get warning. Don't dismiss the red flags. Okay, interesting. So make sure you get all the info that you can and awakening. Yeah. So for some of you guys, it's about checking to see if this person really has gone through a transformation. 
Um, and that's for seeking guidance and crumbs. Like this person may not tell you everything, so make sure you ask all the questions. That chariot card in reverse is about finding sort of creative solutions to your problems, finding out all the info. Hold back, watch, and wait, okay? Don't rush into anything here. Make sure you know what their intentions are. Make sure that you guys are compatible. But I think this person has gone, you might not even recognize this person, whether that's energetically, spiritually, or this person, like I said, they might have been somebody's like younger brother or sister and they were like a rebel or they were in a lot of trouble when you knew them last and now they were like, really, they've leveled up. So boundaries, this is your energy. Firm boundaries are needed. Absolutely, Aries, because don't let this person come in and totally like blow you over um, because they're going to release quite a lot. They're going to tell you a lot. That's going to be pretty shocking is what I feel. Okay, let's see what else comes through. Final messages for you guys. We get meditation brings answers. So yeah, don't rush into things, Aries. You know, if you need to, meditate it on. This is going to be an important decision for you. And listen to your intuition. Yep, don't let your intuition, don't ignore your intuition or any red flags. But I feel for the most part, this is somebody that... Yeah, there's a lot of potential here, but just don't rush into it, okay? All right, Aries, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Have a beautiful day. If these messages resonate with you, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to ring that notification bell, and you guys can also now follow me on TikTok and Instagram with those links in the description box too. All right, you guys, sending you love and light. Take care.